Hey everybody, welcome to Motivational Monday. We're gonna do things a little bit differently today because I took the weekend off to be with family and today is Mother's Day, Sunday. Um, so I thought I would take you along today as I get ready for the week. I do have a video where I talk about what I do to prepare for the week. It's more of a sit down video and there's a link to it down below so you can click on it. But today I just thought as I get ready for the week, um, for tomorrow's Monday, I'll take you guys along with me. I will start with yesterday. We did film yesterday um, our how we get ready for Sunday. Sorry, my disc got full. So I, we did record yesterday us getting ready for Sunday and there's some footage there um, but not a whole lot because I fell asleep so um, but I thought I'll show you yesterday as we get ready for Sunday and how I'm getting ready for the rest of the week and my mother's day so come along with us today. Ooh, man I look scary. You still love me? You look like a raccoon. Hey guys welcome. What up? Look at it, he's all burnt. It's Saturday today. It's Saturday. Monday for you. The boys. Yeah, and Derek is outside a lot. He's all raccoony. You guys, we are so tired. Happy Monday. It is Saturday night here for us, and we're exhausted. <laughs> uh, we've had a busy day with lacrosse games with Jonah. Watching yeah. families, games, other. Nephews. I went to the DI today. I'm going to show you what I got later this week, but I met one of you and I forgot your name already. I'm so sorry. She introduced herself to me in the parking lot. She was so stinking cute. We got her picture together. She's so sweet. So, hello. Um, so, I got to meet her and then came home and I helped a friend. She was moving and I helped clean her house. And so, I my wrists hurt, my arms hurt, everything just hurts. And then I went to Walmart to go grocery shopping. We're going to pick up, we're gonna clean, and we're going to get church clothes ready. If we don't have everything, then we'll put a load in uh, the washer and get it dried. But we're gonna make sure that we've got everything that we need and laid out. Did you guys have a good Mother's Day? I hope you did. I hope you had a good one. So. I did. It was great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure I had a great Mother's Day, right Derek? I'm sure it was awesome. Like, out of this world, mind-blowing, The plan awesome. is amazing. <laughs> the, the plan is amazing? <laughs> the plan's amazing, so let's just go with that. Okay. Join me as we push through our Saturday night to get ready for Sunday. Saturday is a special day. It's a day we get ready for Sunday. Woo! I'm gonna get my aprons on. You get your aprons on. You clean something, and I'll clean something, and we'll be cleaning together. All right, aprons on, let's go.
Okay, we had dinner and now we're playing Rummy Cube. Dun, dun, dun. Mom, now people are gonna be like, that's Rummy Cub. Oh, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah, because there's no E. So, all right. Points, this is points. So don't I so we're done with this game. Yeah. And so I just told the kids to go grab any of their dirty school clothes that they have in their room. They need to put them in the washer downstairs. I have some in my room. I'm going to go no. grab those. So I have everyone round up their school clothes, their uniforms, and we get them in the wash. So let's start a load of laundry. Look what Derek and the kids got me. Isn't this cute? They got me this apron. Isn't that precious? I am starting the load of clothes. I'm going through getting Derek's work clothes, the kids' uniforms in here, and get that going, and then get them in the dryer. It's six o'clock, so now I'm gonna plan my week out in my planner. Review on this is below if you'd like to see it. Um, so I have some stickers here to just help me. So I'm gonna sit in bed, <laughs> in my reclining bed, and put on a movie while I plan my week. So uh, yeah, let's get planning in the planner. That way I know what's coming up and no surprises. So this is May. So this was last week. So the, here's this week. I did some meal planning, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna fill this out. So here I go. Ready? Look what Derek surprised me with. Oh, I've been wanting one. Hey, Mom. Aww. Oh, I love it. So oh, Derek took here. the glass off that it's table. Let's put it here so it won't burn the deck. Because the grass would catch on fire. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. He's the best. I've been wanting one forever. Thank you. I love the smell of fire, and I love being by the fire with the family. Next video, our house burnt down. Yeah, okay. Join us next time. Ooh, yeah. Now it's a party. <laughs> Almost closing. Roast your marshmallow. I got circling around. Are you excited to have a s'more? Hey, the gold marshmallows are right. Okay, friends, I just got Boston and Shaylee showered, and I just got to dry Shaylee's hair. But uh, I did menu plan a little bit in my planner, and I need to erase this and put the new menu up. And I did go shopping on Saturday for groceries for what I thought we needed for the week and what I knew I'd be meal planning for. And so I pretty much nailed it on that department for the groceries for the week. So why don't you check out my grocery haul from Walmart that I did yesterday. Okay, let's get going on this grocery haul. I do need to go to Costco later this week just for a couple of things, but here we go. I have chips for the kids. These will last to the end of the school year. So they like everything in both, so I bought them both. Awesome mom. So we've got, like between these two bags, 40, 40 chip bags, and then I grabbed this Chex Mix. I love snacking on that. Um, the original Chex Mix. Some bananas, tomatoes. These look so good. Tomatoes on the vine. Oh, yum. Some Good Thins rice and veggie blend crackers. Some instant like oatmeal. Some five cheese ravioli. That is a quick meal that Callie can make up. Um, love cheesy macaroni. So we've got sauce downstairs. And um, yeah, the ravioli is a quick meal for the kids. 
With some burgers. Callie, I got you burgers. I'll be gone tomorrow. <laughs> I know Callie loves burgers. She loves cooking up burgers. So I just grabbed a package of 12. Uh, I like the ones from Costco better, but I thought she might like this for tomorrow. So I grabbed that um, with some buns. So two packages of buns. Um, package of 16 pack of hot dog hot dog buns and I got these hot dogs but I only got two packages Shaylee really wanted for dinner tonight hot dogs and beans oh my gosh I was cracking up so I grabbed hot dogs and I grabbed some bushes baked beans I'm gonna cook those up for her um, she loves them but I have some really good beef hot dogs coming from Zaycon on Monday um, so uh, I just grabbed these for now, but I'm excited to get the other hot dogs because they're better for you. Okay, I grabbed some no sugar added red grapefruit. They, this just looks so good, and I love grapefruit. And if I don't have to work at it to get to it, that makes me happy. So I'm excited to try this and see how I like it. Uh, the kids requested ice cream, and tomorrow is Sunday for us, and we love ice cream on Sunday. So I got cookies and cream. And Jonah wanted this breakup brownie one. I don't know what it is, but he's super excited to have brownie ice cream. Um, some dill relish. I bought some about two weeks ago, and it fell out of the fridge and shattered. So, got to have dill relish with hot dogs. Now, guys, have you ever tried this famous Dave's signature spicy pickles? Oh, they are so good. I love that little spice to them. So, I grabbed the um, spears and the slices. So, oh, my gosh. Yummy. And I got mini bagels for the kids. They love toasting these up. Um, you could also make like pizzas with them. Toast them up, put sauce, put cheese, pepperoni. It's like their own little pizza. So good. Especially for an after school school snack. Really good. So I got some pepperoni. I got some cottage cheese because I have some more fruit in the fridge. And I love eating this with fruit. Two avocados. Some organic gala apples. I love the size of the kids. They're perfect. Throw them in their lunches. They're less intimidating to eat than a big, big apple. Um, three cucumbers, um, some mozzarella cheese, some coleslaw, and um, and I'm going to make my own coleslaw. I do have a recipe on it. I'll link it below. The flip cups. Oh my gosh, these are so good. You've probably heard me talk about the key lime one. It's got key lime uh, Greek yogurt with graham crackers and white chocolate little morsels. Oh my gosh. And then I haven't tried this one yet, and I'm really excited. Um, this one has strawberries in it, and it's strawberry summer crisp. Strawberry yogurt with graham crackers with the white chocolate in it, too. So I'm excited to try that. And then some whipped cream cheese. Uh, Derek, I grabbed him the no sugar added outshine fruit bars. He loves those. And the kids some gogurt to add to their school lunches. A big pineapple. I love pineapple, so we're going to snack on that. Two gallons of 1% milk and 60 eggs. So that is my little, well, it's not little, but um, my grocery haul for right now. Okay, I got the kids' uniforms, the two little ones, clothes picked out, ready to go for them to get dressed in the morning. Okay, here's the meals mapped out so far for the week. I usually don't assign them a day. Sundays we'll do them on the set day, but I just know what we're having for the week. Jonah's got a game, so I need to make something pretty easy. But uh, I've got barbecue pulled beef. I'll uh, cook up a roast in the co uh, crock pot. We'll have coleslaw with it and veggies, fish tacos, pork loin, and I have homemade pizza. So these spaces will get filled in. Or moved around so but at least I have a plan for meals for the week oh actually I have that um Derek that freezer meal shepherd's pie so maybe that's what I'll do on this day so yeah thing, the shepherd's pie in the freezer maybe we'll do that I'll have things okay so the freezer meal shepherd's pie or the ravioli that I bought so we are set for the week for the meals Sunday not too sure yet but I'm not worried about that but but we're good for the meals of the week. So there you go guys, that's just a look of how I plan my week. Like to go food shopping on the weekend, stock us up for the week, meal plan, plan in my planner, 
make sure we've got clothes to wash for the week for Derek's work, you know, his work clothes, school uniforms. Um, and I just really look at my planner and see what I got going on so I know when I can, you know, schedule in my zone cleaning and things like that. So before I leave, I'll show you my schedule, what I do. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for a kind of like a recap or a lot of you are new and want to know my schedule. So I'll share that with you before we end. So in my recipe cupboard, I have like my my routines and schedules for the week. So on Mondays, I do my weekly home blessing. And if you don't know what that is, I do have a video on it. I'll link it. But basically, I do these things right here very quickly. Does not take me long to do this. About 10 to 15 minutes in each spot. I'm just blessing my home and making it feel fresh. So I'll change the bed sheets, take out the garbage, clean up the homework station, dust, vacuum up, and polish anything. So it's really quick, just blessing the home. Um, and then Tuesdays is my zone day where I concentrate on my zones. If you want to know what my zones are, uh, I follow the fly lady method, and I'll leave a link to where I talk about the zones down below. Um, I usually do them on Tuesdays, but this Tuesday in my planner, I'm helping a friend move, and so I will just move my zone cleaning in, you know, 15 minutes during the week, or I'll take one day and do an hour of it. Uh, Wednesdays is my planning day where I, I'll do more menu planning. I'll plan out like freezer meals, that kind of thing. I'll, um, I'll balance a checkbook, book. I'll answer emails. I do anything that I could do at my desk. It's basically my desk day. And then Thursday, I try to make it my errand day. Anything I could do to leave the house. I try to do on that day, but lately things have been, just been falling on Mondays and Wednesdays because since I leave the house for tutoring, but things change, but here's just an idea of what my life is like. On Fridays, I try to clean out the car in my purse. Saturdays, it's family day and yard work, and Sundays, it's church day. So that's an idea of how I try to help organize my week and my thoughts and everything. And then, of course, I have my morning and night routines, and I'll have the videos on these down below. I don't, you know, I try to do them. It's not perfect, but for me, and because I'm such a squirrel and I get distracted so easily, it's nice knowing like when I, during the day, get like frazzled, like, oh my gosh, what should I be doing? Like, I just turn to these and go, oh yeah, and I can just swing back into it. So that is how I plan for my week. That's how I plan my days. But the biggest key for me is this right here, is my planner. If I don't look at this, Every night or morning, I miss something, and I have missed things when I have not looked at that. I've missed appointments, I've missed, it has not been very helpful, so. Um, but that's how I plan my week, you guys. So I hope that was motivating. Um, yeah, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I appreciate ha you having you here. If you're new, subscribe so you don't miss the fun. And thanks for joining me today. And I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. I sure did. It was wonderful, all the surprises, the love, being with, my kids and so happy mother's day to you mom and and to all you moms out there so thanks for joining me today we'll see you soon bye toodles toodles